welcome to another edition of Xantech. Uh, today we are going to be covering a topic that I have seen a lot of lately. I also, a uh, while back, have experienced this issue myself. It is basically, as far as Android devices, experiencing the mount script error when attempting to use link to SD. So that way you can link your application files to your SD card as opposed to your phone taking up space. Now I am using currently team viewer, team support, so that way you can actually view my phone's screen. Uh, my phone that I'm currently doing this on is a Samsung Galaxy 2 Exhibit 4G. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's that I've seen it also for the HTC happen. And as you can see I'm using quick support so I can actually view this. Additionally, I've already gone and downloaded uh, Link to SD, so that is already on my phone. And basically, I have actually redone my entire ROM just so that way it would actually do this, and you could see how to fix it. I've seen a lot of fixes online. Some of them are temporary. Some are only design specific. The only issue is it doesn't always work. I mean, a lot of people try it and it doesn't work and they get mad and then there's also ones that are telling you to create additional partitions that's really not necessary that's stupid as you can see this is your initial window that you get and my extra partition is an extendable 2 and all my files the media or whatever are on my fat 32 so I'm going to click ok for my extendable 2 partition And of course it's going to bring up the uh, user access, super user access. For link to SDI, I would put them under this choice, but you can put it as whatever you want, doesn't really matter. But it will give me this error then that's about to pop up. That would be the error many are experiencing. Not script cannot be created. But in fact, the matter is, it's already created in an extendable T partition. It shouldn't be an issue creating the mount script. Uh, one of the things I like about using Link to SD though is that you can actually access Link to SD settings through its own program. So basically, what we're going to do is we are going to scroll down. This is the easiest way to fix it, and it does fix it effectively. So, these are all standard apps that are Google nonsense. I'm actually going to have to get rid of some of those probably. So, let's do that right now. Avoid any complications. Put actions. Install because you actually need the internal space on your device only for one click and this as I said will actually eliminate the problem without having to make an extra partition in the card or whatever nonsense people suggest online The main issue that's caused is since Link to SD is downloaded from the Play Store itself, basically it installs itself as an application. And unfortunately, in order for Link to SD to work effectively, it has to be installed as a system application, not as a application that was just downloaded. So what we're going to do is after we free up some space here, I'll go down to link to SD and press it. Get this one. And as you can see, data app lab app lib, everything like that. Click on actions or press actions.
and you're going to press convert to system app now you'll get this warning screen it may misbehave but it doesn't because you're making it into a system app so that way you can actually access everything in the system without having complications <coughs> Now once that's done you get this again and as I said mine is an extendable 2 some people use extendable 4 I don't know why I just use extendable 2 and click OK And as you can see now, now script has been created. Please restart your device to mount the second partition of your SD card. So, reboot device. And my VNC viewer will actually disconnect now because my phone is rebooting. So, for obvious reasons, I can't see my device because it's no longer connected. But once this is done, you can actually use. Uh, link to SD the way you normally would go into the system go and uh, set up your auto link settings and then your link to, uh, start installing apps your link to SD will function as it's supposed to so I hope this helps and hopefully it will decrease the amount of people online that are actually having this issue and have a good day Keep up the comments if you have any questions. Feel free to like, subscribe, ask me anything you want. I'm always here to help.